karibu sana. Asante uh, popote unaponitazama. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa majina naitwa Kinothi ya Otieno nimeokoka. Kristo ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu, mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili, mume na baba wa watoto watatu. Mm -hmm. Amen. Karibu sana. Asante. Na, uh, ni vizuri tuweze kufahamu kwa nini unaitwa Kinothi na unaitwa Otieno <laughs> at the same time. Na umetokea wapi? Asante a uh, Kinuthia jina Kinuthia ni jina langu mm -hmm. wakati nikizaliwa ama um, babangu alikuwa na rafiki yake ambaye alikuwa daktari mm -hmm. alikuwa anafanya kazi pumuani lakini alikuwa anaishi wote sehemu moja maana kimezaliwa nimezaliwa hapa Nairobi tu mm -hmm. nimezaliwa pale Mweki mm -hmm. so wakati mamangu alikuwa in labor the only person alifikiria kuita ni Kinuthia ambaye ni rafiki yake so wakiwa njiani kwenda hospitali basi nikawa nazaliwa nikazaliwa njiani wakasema basi huyu tutamuita Kinuthia huyu basi ndivyo Kinuthia ikaja na sane miangu sane otieno sane ujine ya mzee mm -hmm. kwa hivyo kinuthia ikabaki kuwa kinuthia otieno wow yes that's awesome asante sasa tutake kujua background yako ulizaliwa kama mtoto mwenye talanta ama ulijajua kwamba unaweza kufanya mambo ya mziki badaye bada ya malezi ama kulindaji kama vile watu wengi usema kwamba mm -hmm. tulia alianza kuimba akiwa mdogo mm -hmm. mi mwenye nilizaliwa kwetu tumezaliwa watano mm -hmm basi mimi ndio yule namba tano. Kwa hivyo kwetu kulikuwa na ka fellowship ka jioni as a family before my parents passed on and we used to sit together and fellowship. Mm -hmm. So katika harakati ya fellowship we would sing songs mm -hmm. and anytime I would sing my mom would tell me yours is different. Sunday uende kanisani Sunday school and you sing it. But I was so shy that tungeenda Sunday school singeweza kusimama mbele ya watu na kuimba. But tukiwa nyumbani I would sing. So he called me ni push for some time but born I knew there was something in me nikaanza kujielewa nilijua kuna kitu ndani yangu and I thank God for that because uh, I've ministered for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Na sasa kuanza kwenyewe uh, umeimba pale nyumbani, umefika Sunday school, umepewa nafasi. Yes. Uta graduate vipi kutoka Sunday school sasa uingie uimbaji serious. Right. Uh, I thank God for Pastor Geoffrey mm -hmm. uh, IGC Kitale. Uh, nilikuwa the youngest among the choir members nilipenda sana kuimba so nika join choir and we were two of us who were the youngest so one friday tuko tunafanya tu mazoezi na ule mtu wa keyboard pale na pastor alikuwa ofisini akasikiliza akasema a a hii uimbaji si ya sunday school enimo mm huu -hmm. uimbaji sasa imefika kiwango kingine akasema basi kwenye mkesha mtampa nafasi yule atuongeze kombo moja tu hasa pale kulikuwa na watu ambao wana sauti unaelewa <laughs> hasa mimi kuja pale nikaimba tu basi nikaona watu wamebarikiwa lakini sikuelewa kilichotokea baada ya hapo yani sikuelewa kulikuwa na nguvu za Mungu nyingi sana kwenye ruma nika, nyumba ikajaa nguvu za nyu, Mungu then sikuelewa mimi nikajitoa manake nimeshamaliza kuimba nikaenda nikaketi kuanzia pale nikaanza kutiwa mwa dada moja Priscilla ako bungoma saizi akantia moyo akaniambia basi endelea hivyo hivyo tayari ndicho hicho uko nacho uh, through that nikaendelea nika nikarudi nika Nairobi nika join praise and worship mm -hmm. uh, nikaendelea na kwa ya my teacher Evelyn Wandama I believe you are watching akani coach kidogo so I've been going through a process it was mm -hmm. a process mm -hmm. and officially for me to understand I can lead praise and worship uh, that was in 2002 yes 2002. Yes. Na ukaanza pale sasa kwenye praise and worship. Yes. Unajua kinachofanya niweze kurejea nyuma hivyo ni kwa sababu there is the making of Kinuthia Otieno ambaye tumeweza kumuona sasa hivi kwenye right. video. Right. Na watu wanaweza kufikiria kwamba umeanza hapo. Ata. Na umeanza katika huo utukufu. Mm -hmm. Lakini kabla ya utukufu kuna mambo mengi. Yes. Na maandiko yanasema kwamba hatuwezi kuyalinganisha mateso yetu na ule utukufu utakao kuja. Right. Kwa hivyo utukufu uja baadaye. Yes. So uh, pale mwanzo mwanzo mm -hmm. uh, sijui ilikuwaje, sijui kama ilikuwa rahisi tu kwa tu kuingia kuimba kutoka kwenda nyumbani kuingia kuimba hivyo kwa kweli uimbaji mm -hmm. mara mingi mimi watu ni gharama and ni gharama because uh, tumelipia gharama ya uimbaji aswa niseme mimi kiviangwe maana ke kimaisha yangu kibinafsi baada ya kumaliza shule mm -hmm. hata kabla kumaliza kumaliza shule nikawapoteza wazazi wangu wote nilimpoteza mm -hmm. baba nikampoteza mama kwa hivyo changamoto ikawa imeanza pale officially 
and uh, being that una grow and there's that fear of God in you there is that salvation in you hasa unajikuta umekuwa tofauti na watoto wengine kwa nyumba and the only source nilikuwa najua ni Mungu so anytime things were going so hard i would just go back and lock myself somewhere and pray and sing now coming to sing watu wengi wanafikiria kwamba umetokea tu na umekuja mm-hmm. gharama ipo maana kitu nimelipa gharama nimetembea na watu wengi nimekaa chini ya wachungaji wamenifunza and namshukuru sana askofu wa uh, bishop samin zao uh, for allowing me actually ndio anaweza kuambia ushuhuda wangu vizuri mm-hmm. for allowing me to serve nilikuwa mtundu sana kulingana na past yangu nilikuwa mtundu sana and I thank god for bishop nzao I thank god for melody ndisho whatever place she is if she's watching me she's among the guys to metembea now who safari ya wokovu and they know my testimony kina pastor charles munala watu tu wa mweki wengi mm-hmm. wanaelewa nikawa pale nimeanza team inajita g spring g spring glorious spring ilikuwa kikundi tu ya vijana ambao wanampenda tu kumwimbia mungu and nothing else and the best we could do was just plan a worship experience a simple one and we just worship mm-hmm. but the reason why i say it's paying the price watu wengi utaka kuimba leo pastor an wakaitaka tu kuinuka yani wanataka wafike kwenye hicho kiwango chako hivyo hivyo wanasahau kuna gharama umelipia gharama umelipia nini umelipia gharama ya kufunzwa umelipia gharama ya mazoezi umelipia gharama ya kukataliwa no unafika mahali watu wanaona kama wewe unaimbaga nini wewe unaimba nini wewe bado and at that point you're like god i'm ready to do this because you are not singing personally i was not singing for fame or mm-hmm. anything mm-hmm. i was singing because it's a calling mm-hmm. and that's why mimi uduma yangu anasema kwamba ni mwito i call myself a minister not an artist because mm-hmm. artist ni msanii tu atafanya usanii amaliza aende mm-hmm. but i'm a minister because of kule Mungu amenitoa na mahali Mungu amenifikisha nikitazama tu hivi na nyenyekea najikuta na nyenyekea tu unajikuta kwamba uh, unaona kwamba ni Mungu aliyekusaidia right. sio kwa uwezo si wako umefika mahali ambapo umefika yes katika hiyo safari sijui kama kuna mambo ambayo naweza kuelekeza kidole na kusema nilisoma haya katika safari yangu ya wokovu nikiwa mwanamuziki changamoto ambazo nilikumbana nazo ambazo zilikaribu ziniweze ama ziliniweza ni hizi ziko ziko changamoto mengi sana mm-hmm. i think kama mtumishi wa Mungu mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili changamoto ya kwanza ni ile kupata kupata madhabau ya kuonyesha kipawa chako maana kila madhabau unapoenda una kipawa lakini kuna watu ambao hawana kipawa mm-hmm. wamejibandika tu kwa uimbaji that's why mimi ushanga mtu akisema nimeanza kuimba juzi nikiwa mzima basi umekuwa kwenye kwaya umekuwa kwenye praise and worship umekuwa pale chini hasa basi wewe kuelewa itakuwa ngumu so changamoto ziko changamoto ya kwanza ni fedha cuz now what let's say you're ministering and you you're working at the same time mm-hmm. so unapata muda na timing unaangalia time sengine unafaa kwa mazoezi kanisani na hiyo sasa ndio umepatikana kwenye kibarua hasa unakuwa na changamoto unashindwa nitatokaje kibarua nikimbia kanisani hasa zingine unakimbia kanisani unajikuta huko umekosea mm-hmm. kwa hivyo that was a challenge and number one number two challenge ya pili ilikuwa ni, ni finances mm-hmm. kwa sababu huduma ya uimbaji bila pesa kidogo inakuwa ngumu maana kuna faa uingie kwenye studio labda Mm-hmm. kama unataka kuanza ku, ku record nyimbo zako that is unafaa uingie kwenye studio fanya moja mbili tatu inakuwa ni changamoto mm-hmm. changamoto ya tatu ni kukanyagiwa yani kukanyagiwa sijui kama utanielewa mm-hmm. <laughs> unakanyagiwa kesi ya kwamba Yesu umekuja mahali unataka kabisa una moto unasikia umuimbie Mungu alafu unaambiwa nafasi yako hakuna inavunja moyo ama ile ambayo umeenda kesha alafu right. umesubiri kuitwa hadi asubuhi mpaka <laughs> asubuhi alafu zile watu wanaondoka na usikia ah fulani alikuwa hapa njoo 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 njo, tuimbie so hizo ni changamoto zimekuwepo but we thank god because Mungu tupatia neema ama Mungu mm-hmm. upatia watu wake neema at that moment kwenye hiyo mapito tunajikuta una hiyo neema tu kitu hiyo saa kumi, saa kumi na moja watu wakienda na waa kuja kuja kumbe ulikuepo unajikuta tu umejipata ujasiri na umeenda pale tena na ukafanya kile ambacho Mungu alitaka ufanye mm-hmm. so most of the time niwaambia watu kwamba when it is a calling then it will take time mm-hmm. lakini kama wakati wake wa kutoka umefika basi itatoka because the things of god has yet akishwi anafanya kazi kwa muda na wakati wake mm-hmm. yes production mm-hmm. imekuwa ni changamoto sana kwa mwimbaji wengi na hasa wakati ambapo mtu anaanza um, sielewi kwa nini na kuna 
mambo mengi ama kuna information ambayo imeweza kuatiliwa nyingi ya kwamba mwanzo unakwanga huwa una matatizo yake Hmm. na sijui kwa nini hata wanaokuja nyuma yetu hivi wamekuja wame wakaingia pia kwa matatizo hmm. sijui ni kutotaka kuelekezwa ama ni kujua kwamba amitu ni kwa sawa nikiwa hivyo sijui wewe production yako the very first one ile ambayo ulifanya ya kwanza yes. ilikuwa vipi uh, ilikuwa na changamoto na nataka nimshukuru sana uh, majay producer majay hmm. popote ulipo yani Mungu akubariki sana Uh, Maje aliona talent ikiwa ndani yangu tukiwa pale kanisani. Mm -hmm. uh, but that time I was working at a studio I think around Komarok there. And akaniambia njo studio. Sasa mimi naenda studio pale ndio mara ya kwanza that was in 2007. Mara ya kwanza kuingia kwenye studio you know you've never been to a studio umefika. Mm -hmm. And then anakuambia let's do a song. So we did our first song actually za moyo tuko nafanya album. Zamu ya kuko na mambo ya masingo. <laughs> ni album. <laughs> Ilikuwa album. Yeah, so yende kata kama ni 12 hata kama ni tisa, hata kama ni nane, bora iwe a full album. So I did an album of nine songs. Mm -hmm. And out of these nine songs I did only one video. And this one video namshukuru pia DJ Psych aliuchukua na kaucheza kwenye KBC Angaza. Basi milango ikaanza kufunga watu wanakuita wana mkutano lakini we mwenyewe una changamoto umejua mm. uwezi ukaniambia ah nije mkutano naanza kuambia au oh, anajua e, mara nina kibarua sijui wapi wapi ni kama ninajicomplicate mm -hmm. unaona mm -hmm. so mwanzo huwa ngumu kwa sababu watu wengi wapendi kuelekezwa okay. especially the generation that is coming behind us wenye wamejitokeza saizi hawa wapendi kusikiliza they know more than more than what they what, what you know mm -hmm. ukijaribu mm -hmm. kumwambia tulia kwenye praise and worship at least u learn some few things there ujuange alto inaenda hivi ujuange soprano inaenda hivi ujuange this is the time to lead and lead voice goes like this hawana huo muda wako na muda wa kukimbia studio ku record na kesho ingie kwenye tv kishenge kwenye tv bas ameshakuwa starter kuliko worship leader wake hata kuliko mchungaji wake sasa hiyo ndio maana kuna kuwa na changamoto mm -hmm. especially to waimbaji wanapata hiyo changamoto because they are not ready to to be directed na wengi wao wamsikilizi wa Mungu wasikizi kama ambaye ndio wakati wangu wa kutoka kama sio wakati wangu mm -hmm. so that is a challenge especially in the beginning kama una mtu anakushika mkono na kuelekeza mtumikie mm -hmm. kiti pale akuelekeze mimi nimetumikia watu wengi sana na nimebeba vibeti vyao sana nimebeba briefcase zao sana nikijifunza how to handle yourself as a minister you know how to address issues as a servant of god so mm -hmm. imekuwa ni changamoto kwa watu wanakuja kwa sababu wapendi kuelekezwa unajua unanileta kwenye swali kwamba um, kuwa mwanamuziki right je inahusu tu kwenda pale mbele na kuagiza track number three ama kupewa microphone na unaimba live is it all about hiyo kwenda pale mbele ama kuenda na kuongoza mziki kwenda pale mbele na kuongoza mziki according to its performance. Mm. <laughs> Mwana mziki ama tuseme muimbaji anafaa ajielewe kama muimbaji. That means it involves prayer. It involves reading the word of God. It, invo it involves consulting the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It is all round mm -hmm. to a level that ukikuja pale mbele it's no longer you. And ndio maana watu wengi wanafika pala nasema nipatie track 2 nipatie track 4 nipatie track 8 nipatie track utatupa track ni sawa tunazikubali zinatubariki kwa wakati huo but you as a person what do you carry because hata biblia imesema kwanza kimtokacho mtu ndicho yeye and you cannot deliver what you don't have so you must have something in you that when you deliver it you deliver to people So kuenda pale mbele si kwa mwimbaji kuna mm -hmm. watu wamepewa kipawa cha kuandika nyimbo na hata sauti zenyewe hawajapewa na bado ni mwimbaji maana yake anaandika wimbo anakuambia pastor hiyo unaona ukiimba itatokea vizuri mm -hmm. unaona so i think it's way much than just coming to say give me this track ama kwenda kuchukua microphone na kuongoza uimbaji pale mbele is much more than that umeguzia kuhusu um, kunyenyekea na kutumika chini ya watu wengine yes. na kwa kizungu tunasema submission right. ambayo kwa wakati mwingi sana huwa inalemea waimbaji oh, inalemea yeah. watu wengi kwenye huduma <laughs> sana right. kwa sababu right. uh, mi najua anachokifanya kiko sawa right. na kwa hivyo sihitaji mtu akuja kunirekebisha mm -hmm. kuniambia vile angepata, angetaka yeye nifanye mm -hmm. kwa nini asiende na mawazo yangu mm -hmm. wimbo ni wangu mimi ndio nimepewa wimbo na Mungu <laughs> 
Eh? Mimi ndio natoa yes. pesa ya kulipa yeah, producer. Yeah. Eh? Mimi ndio najilipia mm. video. Mm-hmm. Kwa nini unje uniletee mawazo yako na uniletee uh, mashauri yako unibadilishe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think hapo shida inakuja kwa mentorship. Because ukiangalia pole pole waimbaji wengi hawana mentors. And once uko na mentor ambaye anakuongoza mm. ana sio lazima ufanye asua vile ambacho anataka maana kila mtu anapewa kipawa chake tofauti okay. lakini ni vizuri unakuwa na mtu ambaye anakupa kitu kama kipimo mm-hmm. Ana, anaweza kuambia hapana hapo ulienda overboard maana yake niliona siku moja nikihudumu mahali <laughs> nikihudumu mahali mm-hmm. mchungaji anasema jamani tupe nyumba moja alafu tufanye nini tusikize neno alafu mtu amekuja tu ameimba wimbo wa kwanza kwanza ameanza tangaza nyimbo zake mimi ndio niliimba hii nikaimba hii nikaimba hii na mchungaji anamwangalia zile za jamani Unaona so kuna utu anafaa kuwa na mentor ambaye anakuambia ukienda mahali kama pale fanya hivi. Mm-hmm. Ukifika hapa fanya hivi na si kando tuna muziki ataki maisha. Mm-hmm. Manake ni sawa ulilipa production sawa umeenda studio sawa umefanya video sawa lakini ukija mbele ya watu unacha kusema. Mm-hmm. Hapo ndio kuna swali unacha kusema ukija mbele ya watu utakuja mbele ya watu au unacha kusema. Una content. Unaona. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unakuja unaanza kuambia watu vitu ambavyo our fight of his gear mm-hmm. so i think most of the time it's good to have a mentor and then make sure your mentor you connect in the spirit mm-hmm. usikuwe kwa usikuwe mentor usikuwe mentored na mtu ambaye does not acknowledge what you carry manake kuna mentor pia ambao ni kama wa wa maono ama wazima maono mm-hmm. anaona kabisa huyu ana potential lakini kila anakuonyesha ni kama hauwezi lakini mnatembea naye kwa hivyo be very careful when you choose your mentors someone who will appreciate what you have mm-hmm. and acknowledge what you carry and build you and support you to make sure that thing has come out the right way and at the right time oh yes ndio yes. naandilisha kwenye swali kwamba ah mm-hmm. uh, sasa mtazama jimu yeye anatazama hapa yes. tayari amechanganyikiwa uh-huh. na amechanganyikiwa kwa sababu um, role ama kazi ya ya huyu mentor mm-hmm. ama mwelekezi na role ya baba ama mama wa kiro mbaya mm-hmm. anakuongoza na kukuombea na kukupatia kava kama mwanahudumu mm-hmm. ama mwimbaji mm-hmm. nitawezaje kuwatofautisha na nitawezaje kujua kwamba huyu asipite mipaka mm-hmm. I, i think spiritual authority mm-hmm. ni kwa juu ya mtu mm-hmm. ni pasta wake mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right that mm-hmm. is the spiritual authority over you mm-hmm. uh, even over me as an artist mm-hmm. or as a minister but my mentor is like ni sawa huyu ni spiritual father wangu lakini napenda jinsi ambavyo hanu uimba mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. hasa basi mbona labda my spiritual authority hata ajui chochote mm-hmm. about music ni kweli no, no. <laughs> Hadi jo chat about music mm-hmm. and 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 I acknowledge him as my spiritual authority and he but, is and he is and lazima kwe hapo mm-hmm. but now kuna huyu mentor wangu ambaye anajua mambo ya muziki napenda vile anafanya muziki yake napenda vile anaimba basi nitatembea naye kwenye line ya muziki mm-hmm. unanielewa ni, unajua um, kinachofanya ni kuuliza hivyo ni kwa sababu yes watu wengi wamebadilisha uh, the two roles mm-hmm. zimechanganyika sana yes kuna mtu anafikiria kwa sababu niko na mentor. Huyo ndiye muombezi wangu. wangu. Huyo ndiye ananiombea ndiye ananipatia kaba. <coughs> Kuna mtu mwingine hata out of ignorance yes. hatofautishi tofauti ya kuwa na baba wa kiroho katika mziki <coughs> na pia katika huduma kwa sababu mziki ni pia ni huduma. Huduma yes. Na kuwa na mtu ambaye anaweza kukurekebisha. Yes. Akiwa mentor. <coughs> Kumbuka pia baba wa kiroho anaweza kukurekebisha. Very true na kwa hivyo sasa yeye yeah, atakurekebisha kwa mambo ambayo ni ya, yote ni ya kawaida mm. lakini huyu hasa atakurekebisha kwenye mambo ya muziki muziki yes so wakati ambapo umeeleza hivyo ni nimepata ku, kupata kujua kwamba wale ambao wanatazama na ni wanamuziki mm-hmm. watajua m, cha kuuliza huyu na cha kuuliza huyu. huyu right wow right <laughs> yes this is mongaza tv utukufu show tuko na the only luo i know ambaye ako na jina la kikuyu hapo katikati kwa sababu kinudhia kusema ukweli kinudhia ni mount kenya kinudhia eh <laughs> ta kuna mtu mwingine anajua anakuanga na hoteli inaitwa kinudhia <laughs> <laughs> Kenodia's Hotel. <laughs> Kenodia, the Kenodia's. Yes. Yes. Asante. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. Tukotume fika kuhusu kutofautisha right. mentor right. na spiritual father or yes. spiritual covering. Yes. Na tunapoendelea hivyo um, katika safari yako 
wewe nani uliingilia wapi ndi ukaingia sasa kwenye kwenye kurekodi uh, i think uh, nimekaa sana kwenye pulpit kabla ya kufika kwenye kiwango cha kurekodi mm -hmm. and even when i was recording all this album siku aitoka kwenye madhabao mm -hmm. because hiyo ndio my source of uh, power or, or inspiration hapo ndo napata nyimbo zangu so niliingilia hapo kwenye nilisema kwenye maje alikuepo akanichukua nikafanya wimbo nikafanya wimbo wa kwanza uka, ukaenda uh, wimbo wa pili ndio ukao una shida kidogo maana mm -hmm. when i did the second album that was songa mbele uh, i didn't release any mm -hmm. because katika ile hali singeweza ata kwa afford video singeweza ata kwa kwa afford ata audio nyingine but nilirecord kupitia kwa favor ya one producer again uh, focus media stefano he was called stefano so he came and did me another album the second album ambao nashukuru mungu kwa sababu yao and uh, kwa hiyo album pia nikaachia tuna wimbo moja songa mbele no mbili songa mbele na hakuna kama wewe mm -hmm. and uh, through that process of recording and and singing in the church ilifanya nika grow in a way that now i knew what i wanted i was like now i'm not going to record anything again until the lord says so mm -hmm. so nikarudi kwa madhabahu and i went to started praying and seeking god i was like god why am i struggling so much to record or have you not called me for this and so i started doing backup i believe in kenya Kenya watu wachache sana ambao tena yangu iko kwa nyimbo zao. <laughs> yes, yeah, so watu wachache sana. I've done a lot of backups ukiangalia hata pole pole kwenye mavideo utaniona kule kule. I've always believed in supporting and working as a team. Mm -hmm. So I came in through that channel of just recording, recording then I stopped a bit then started backing people and seeing how they are doing and learning from them. Mm -hmm. At the same time I realized that uh, when the right time comes i'll go back to studio so i had to go sort some things put some things in order eg you go get married you know you mm -hmm. go settle settle your family and then now you come back to the music to the music world so that is how i've been wow yes na vile ambavyo umeelezea nimepata hapo kujua kwamba ulikuwa na entry point ambayo mungu alikupatia kibali yes kwa sababu wakati mwingine hata unaweza kuwa na nyimbo unapata kwamba ujumbe zimepitwa pia na wakati kwa right. sababu ulikosa pesa za kwenda kurekod wakati ambao ulifaa. Mm -hmm. Ni kama mtoto ambaye alifaa kuzaliwa 2019. Right. Alafu sasa unasikia yule mama bado amebeba mimba. You know. <laughs> nikazingumu hata kuanza kufanya CS. Yes. Ndiyo yule mtoto aweze kutoka. Yes. Na nina watu ambao wanatufuata hapa na ni watu ambao maybe mtu ako pale hajui ataanza wapi lakini yeye mwenyewe anajisikia kwamba ameitwa mm. kuimba. Wow. Ameitwa kuimba na hajui aanze na kuandika, aanze na kwenda kwa producer, aanze na kutafuta mentor. Mm. Ako hapo na mambo kumi yenye hajapangika <laughs> hajui aanze hajui aanze wapi. Aanze wapi. Uh. Kulingana na wewe Kinuthia Otien. Yes. Niko hapa ataka mm -hmm. kwenda studio mm -hmm. niko na nyimbo hata maybe niko na tupesa kidogo mm -hmm. tunaweza tosha hata kama ni wimbo mmoja mm -hmm. lakini mimi kwangu niko na idea ya kufanya nyimbo saba mm -hmm. sina mtu wa kunishauri right sijui ni anze na mshauri mm -hmm. alafu tuende studio alafu sasa niimbe ama na, niimbe na... <laughs> eh? urudi tafute mshauri urudi tafute mshauri na nadhani ushauri ni kitu maana sana katika kila maisha ya mwanadamu mm -hmm. manake mara mingi huwa tujui kila kitu lazima tushauriane na hata bible ikasema njooni tusemezane mm -hmm. manake sio kila kitu ambacho unajua mwito upo kuna watu wameitwa kuimba na mimi nakubaliana nao lakini wewe msikiliza Mungu na uko uko sure mm -hmm. umeitwa kuimba mm -hmm. shida hutokea hapa mm -hmm. kila mara mtu anasema nimeitwa kuimba anatarajia mm -hmm. taimba leo kwenye studio mm -hmm. kesho kwa ma radio zote mm -hmm. kesho kutwa kwa ma tv zote mm -hmm. alafu basi ndio naona Mungu amemuita hasa akona neema ya kungoja manake kama mtu kama mimi nimeongoja for 15 good years mm -hmm. miaka 15 nikisubiri mu, Mungu you know mm -hmm. <laughs> so mtu nadhani uanze ushauri kwanza ukisikia mwito uko ndani yako anza mm -hmm. ushauri and again share it with your spiritual authority tell him daddy mimi nasikia kuna kitu kiko ndani yangu you know and let's pray about this and the moments you pray with your spiritual authority mm -hmm. direction will automatically come 
and you will anaweza kuambia now you can join praise and worship usikilize kama hii kitu ina, inafanya nini na grow and then from there you know you can go to the studio because once umetoka direct kwa nyumba na umeingia kwenye studio ku record kuna stage umeruka mm -hmm. Na hiyo stage itakacha hapa na wewe pale mbele because ukiangalia ta music ministry size ime grow to a level that people are going live. Sasa kama ulitoka tu kwa nyumba huko ipitia ta kwaya ta present worship ukaingia kwenye studio it will catch up with you pale mbele. Mm -hmm. It will catch up with you pale mbele na itakuwa mzuri sana. <laughs> Cuz utapata na kina kinuthi na microphone alafu unaambua cable ya DVD haifanyi hata CD yo flash imekata. But wimbo ni wako Mungu alikupa utakosa kuimba. Hey. So yeah, lazima yeah. upitie pale <laughs> kwenye spiritual authority ya kupatie madhabahu that process because mm -hmm. lazima uanzie kwenye madhabahu yenu hapo. Mm -hmm. Hakuna wenye wanataka kuheshimika kule nje na nyumbani kwenu hapa haujaanzia. Mm -hmm. Charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. Anzia kwa hii madhabahu yenu ndogo share with your spiritual authority join the praise and worship learn few things there then now go to studio. Now and if the, the praise and worship are not accommodative I know that one. Yes. I've been a worship leader, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't love me. I want to pay my... I want to pay my... I know it. I want to pay my... I want to pay my... I want to pay my... I was a backup for the la almost 10 years. I was a backup, backup, backup. I was a backup. Because there's something that God was preparing. All the guys with the best voices, mm -hmm. they were backups. So ukiingia kwenye present worship wewe kwa tu BGV ukiambiwa ni tena wewe chapa hiyo tena. Chapa tu hiyo tena na usubmit kwa hiyo authority mwenye kwa at that time. Kama ni yako kasprano wewe kanyoroshe. Mpaka watu wanasemaga na fulani akiwa kwa soprano ya backup nasikia kuna kasauti. Kuna kapanch. You know kuna kapanch. Mm -hmm. So the moment people realize that and the moment you realize ni kiingia kwa present worship usingia kwa present worship kwa na kitu ya kusema I, kina melody understand na say kitu ya kusema mm. yani ule mtu amekuja present worship lakini is full of issues oh munipe leo nataka ku lead mbona mimi sipewi mbona mbona andi anaongozanga mbona fly. with that attitude you'll not get anywhere mm -hmm. present worship it's a team and it's a team yenye inaita uwepo wa Mungu kanisani so unless you submit to that authority and sing with them and nyenyekea pale because unajua kile Mungu amekuitia mm -hmm. si hata wewe unajua umeitwa kuimba ya imbia hapo kwanza imba imba hapo then kimbia studio you will be in a good position au ukienda studio unapata kuna wili mnaimbaga na yeye tena atakuwekea tena kwa studio hata hata unapata kwanza kwamba unapata nafasi ume already hata Mungu amefungua milango right umepata hela mm -hmm. za kwenda studio mm -hmm. now i have the song mm -hmm. ni niko na menta na huko kote nimemalizana Yes. Studio nimeenda. Mm -hmm. Sasa niko na wimbo hapa. Hmm? Pa kuanzia. Nitaenda wapi? Hizi <laughs> <laughs> zile DM mingi tunapatanga mm. ni I have a song I recorded yeah, and um sijui uh, itafikaje si, huko. Sijui itafikaje huko? Mm. Sijui nitafanya nini? I think patience pays eh? because mm -hmm. and the moment like me I didn't know anyone when I was releasing my songs. Na mimi nachenga songs zangu hapo YouTube na naacha because now I don't know anybody that I can say flani come to this and this for me mm -hmm. but when you're beginning as a beginner wewe anza tu hapo once uko na hiyo song when you are going to record this song the lord spoke to you and gave you a message for a certain people mm -hmm. hata kama ni mtu mmoja tabarikiwa na wimbo ule wangu wa asante ama do it again i'll be okay with that amen because labda ni wewe mtu mmoja ndiye alifanya assignment there was a time i record i did, I did a video sometimes back na penda kupea na story sana and i was expecting because nime invest kwa hiyo video yangu kazuri kadogo kasafi nikajua wa akakatapata yeye apple hmm. nilingoja <laughs> <laughs> nilingoja woman of god <laughs> nilingoja yangu yote uh -huh. mpaka nikaanza kukorofishana mwenye video we kweni ni nini mbona song yangu tu iko tu hapo ata views but i was like maybe that was not the right time for that song it's true it's and so most of the time when you do a song why are you doing it what is the what is the motive behind it you know i was with paul moy here on yes. thursday na aliniambia kitu ambayo ilini hit sana yes akaniambia yeye hajaitwa kuwa an entertainer right right so anaweza kuwa yeye ni mwimbaji lakini hana message ya kuimba mm kwa sababu mwenye hupeana message ndiye mwenye wimbo that is it so you can be having your own song mm -hmm. ambao uli compose out of your <laughs> understanding, understanding and knowledge and, and feelings, knowledge, and that that feelings. Time. Well, kuna kitu nataka kusema ukaandika mm. 
lakini wimbo wa Mungu yeye huutengenezea njia mwenyewe tu oh my mwenyewe tu and you know that is the issue with most of us uh, mm-hmm. ministers and I acknowledge minister Paul ni watu ambao wa, wa, yani we don't know mimi ano kaniambia ati nikuandikie wimbo honestly i don't know how to write a song mm-hmm. i don't know how to write a song but when i'm deep in the presence of god the lord drops the song and the moment he drops the song then mm-hmm. that is it there is a flow. so mimi nafanya tu assignment yangu mm-hmm. and then that is actually my producer ucheka sana ambia kani kona chorus hizo <laughs> zingine i don't have because it came hakuna kama wewe yesu Ndio hivyo nakumbuka kuna wimbo niko nayo na sina kitu kingine niko tu na I know mwenye kalishuka kanashuka tu hapo and then now you are thinking alafu alafu sasa no. so that now you depend on god that is it oh my that is goodness was <laughs> yani mungu haizi kubali kukuachi, kukupatia yote kwa sababu Mm-mm. utakuwa stand alone right eh hey, utajipeleka studio wende huko waambie producer chapa hizo keys acha nimalizane na wewe no lazima tu akupatie kind nga alafu akupatie assignment umtafute akupatie hiyo ingine nimekupatia hapa hauna choice you have to come back for more you have to seek me <laughs> ay, 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 ay. this is powerful you have to come back this is powerful more. i don't yes. know whether you are getting this mm-hmm. sio kama unapata hii mtazamaji wetu kwa sababu watu wengi sana mm. na sio kwa uimbaji peke yake watu wamepewa vitu vidogo sana na Mungu right. vikiwa tu ishara kwamba anataka kuwapatia zaidi right. lakini hawakurudi they didn't go back they didn't go back, they to didn't him. Go back. walichukua wako kwa line kimoja na wakaenda wakasonga nako you know <laughs> and upon you most of us we tunakosea because if god can give you a song I just a chorus like that one the lord said asante bwana yesu then okay what next nikianza kufikiria na akili zangu nitaenda direction yenye nafikiria wakati huo mm. but when i went back to see god and ask waliposema siwezi honestly at that point if it were not for god singe pita hapo kwa watu wa zangu na energy zangu na mbio zangu singe fika hapo ni mkono wa mungu oh you know you go back there Sikujua ile fimbo mkononi mwangu utanivusha ngapo. The same thing happened to Moses. Amefika na complain anapiga nduru na Israeli kwa hapa na ako na fimbo. Mhm. Mpaka anamgurumisha Mungu anamgurumisha na mwambia wewe. Hebu angalia mkono yako. What do you have? That is to mean kwamba wakati Mungu hajakunenea. Right. Wakati Mungu hajakupatia the other part, you are still blind. Right. Kuna mambo uko nayo, mambo... you are rich. Lakini huo utajiri hauwezi kuuona. Yeah. Hawezi. <laughs> niko na watu wengi hapa. Wow. Uh, niko na wow. watu wengi sana wameandika jumbe. And I want to uh, check this. Nataka kuangalia niweze kuwatambua. Wow. Tuko na Livia Max. Livia Max. Livia Max anasema Mrs. Olivia Chanyi. Stay tuned. Ako ndani eh. Wow. Masi Omar asante sana John G wafagaria asante uh, Dedan Mkungi. Dedan Mkungi ni kutoka Kinagop. God bless wow. you. Kutoka Kinagop anasema kwamba anatazama na anabarikiwa na kipindi cha siku ya leo. Amen. You know anytime anytime you surrender yourself to God. Yes. God has no option. Mm-hmm. Other than using you. That is it wakati tu umejiachilia hapo and you are available mm-hmm. kwa sababu yeye hatumii vile vyombo ambavyo viko sawa lakini havipatikani right bana right anatumia yesterday a woman of god from the us alinihubiria mm-hmm. akaniambia anaitwa mama wanjiko wanjikos akaniambia kwamba god is looking for fat vessels right right Eh? And you know that is deep when you said fat, fat vessels fat. that means that is so deep fat f, f stands for faithful uh-huh. faithful right a stands for available, available. Mm. t stands for trustworthy right right that is people deep. who can be faithful available available and trustworthy and trustworthy people yes. who can be trusted with the grace yes my yes. goodness yes <laughs> wow this is powerful na na indeed mimi nabarikiwa i am blessed already amen na i know someone else there is being blessed yes 
na kwa sababu jumbe hizi ziko hapa mm-hmm. na ningehitaji pia upate nafasi ya 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 kuminister yes. i want you to be able to minister live on mwangaza tv yes uh, kwanza ni kukwambia kongole sana tukwambie the lord grace you even more amen ben rotich wa miatu kutoka state house anasema pia anatazama na anabarikiwa amen virginia kangonga kutoka kiambu water and storage company the lord bless you amen asante sana unis fevered asante nasema kaji ko salon banana well present god bless amen. you hawa anatazama wakiwa katika salon wow. bwana wabariki wow. elija kimani wa kandara bwana akubariki sana amen na niko na mchungaji kutoka upande wa Kafiria. Wow. Eh? Wow. Anaitwa mchungaji Ezekiel Miburo. Aha. Wakiwa na pasta Karo Miburo. Wow. Anatazama hata alikuwa amenitumia picha wow. kwamba anatazama na Amen. anabarikiwa. Amen. Uh, the reason as to why we are here uh, Kinuthia yes. ni kwa sababu <coughs> we want to inspire somebody. Yes. We want to encourage one person. Mm-hmm. We want to just ile ambayo inaitwa ku kuonyesha mtu kwamba it can work. Yes. Yes. The grace can work. Yes. Kama imefanyia kinuthi ya kazi. Yes. Na kinuthi ya kuanza hivi. Hata. Alianza akiwa toto orphan. Yes. Bila wazazi. Yes. Bila hata chia leader. Unajua no, uh, tunajua na wazazi tuko na watu wa kutupigia makofi. Yes. Hebe huku ana kitu. So if God has lifted you from there mm. to here then he can lift our viewer. Nataka kupatia nafasi iweze mm-hmm. kuongea na mtazamaji wetu. Yes. Na umongele, yani uongeleshe tu mtazamaji wetu heart to heart. Yes. Ile ambayo ni uta, utaweza kumuonyesha kwamba ingawaje anaona kama kwamba hakuna kitu kina work. Mm-hmm. Hata hii new year anashindwa ni new year gani? Kwa sababu mambo ya rastia yamejuri yameanza tu kujirudia. Mm-hmm. And we are just 19 days to the new year. Mm-hmm just talk to them uh, i think uh, the best i can tell you is this uh, whoever is watching me right now i love the scripture that says isaiah 61 arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of god is risen upon you i want to encourage you child of god wherever you are watching me from there is nothing that is impossible even if you are going through a lot of hardship right now arise and shine even if you're going through a very hard moment you're even wondering nitafanya nini just arise and shine because greater is the one that lives in you than the one that lives in the world i know right now i might not make sense to you according to whatever you're going through but i want to tell you there is nothing that is impossible with god if he did it for me then he can do it for you reason being he's always faithfully he says he has good plans for you and me that's what i believe in so whichever place you i just want to encourage you and tell you the lord has good plans for you do not give up do not quit rise up and encourage yourself and shine for the glory of god i know you're wondering uh, minister kinuthi how do i shine and maybe i'm in a, i'm in an hospital bed, bed remember jehovah rafa is our god jehovah uh, elohim is our is our god jehovah elgado is our god what am i trying to say just keep trusting in god arise in the midst of that trouble in the midst of that pain and shine reason being is making you for a better better glory the grace is allowed it is released for you to go through it and may the lord give you that grace to overcome in jesus name amen amen tukupata wapi kwenye mitandao ah kwenye mitandao all platforms kinotheo tieno mm-hmm. kinotheo tieno facebook instagram everywhere youtube niko tu hapo youtube kwa by the way subscribe to my youtube channel i'm still new there tulikuwa kwa pulpit ndio tumekuja kwa social media <laughs> <laughs> so kindly subscribe to my youtube channel Kinuthi Otieno everywhere Thank and you. the Lord bless you. Amen. Thank you so much Minister Kinuthi Otieno. Yes. Na bwana endelee kukupatia neema in the new year. Amen. And we are believing God that he is going to shift you double of what he has done in the past. Amen. To the glory of his name. Amen. Salimia na mwiki sana salimia bishop. I will. Na pastor Melody. I will. Tuambie tunawapenda. Amen. Mtazamaji wetu pia wewe tunakupenda. You know why? Kwa sababu sisi tukiwa peke yetu hapa hatuwezi kuitwa mwangaza tuzi kuitwa mwangaza tv hiki kipindi hakiwezi kuitwa utukufu bila wewe na kwa hivyo wewe ambao uko hapo umechukua muda wako umesikiza umeandika ambaye haukuandika silent listen na kama mama yangu kila mtu ambaye ame, ako pale you are watching us you you either commenting or you just there 
being blessed tuseme kwamba wewe ni wa baraka Mungu akuinue na akubariki zaidi mimi naitwa Ann Lawrence